Hey everybody, happy Friday. Well, it's Friday, so you know what that means over here at A Glittery Life, it's time for the Glitter Report, which is my fav my Friday favorites. And I can't wait to tell you about some of the stuff that I'm loving this week. But I'm gonna start out with some of the stuff that I'm wearing. On my lips, I am wearing uh, MAC More to Love, the Pro Longwear Pencil. Let me swatch that out for you, I love it. So pretty, such a fun color. So I have this lip pencil all over my lips. And then on top of it, I'm wearing the NYX Butter Gloss in Apple, Apple Strudel. I love these glosses. Okay. There we go. And I'll swatch that for you too. So I swatched it over the lip liner so you can see it sort of just kind of mutes it out a little bit but gives it a nice like sheen. But even by itself, it's so pretty. It's such a pretty peachy color. So loving that. That's definitely on my glitter report right now. Uh, the other thing that I cannot stop wearing is actually on my eyes, the Nude Tune Palette. I have worn this every single day since I've gotten it. Um, today I just am wearing um, Silly and Sophisticated and a little bit of Stubborn. So I went with definitely a, like a darker, darker eye. I don't know if you can see that. I just wanted a really cool like kind of dark eye today but not too dark n kind of middle of the road so this feels like a middle of the road like smoky eye for me to counterbalance this like really bright fun lip so those are definitely on my glitter report this week and I can't live without a detangler um, and this is the Redken clear moisture instant polishing prep it's a leave-in cutting and detangling lotion for normal to dry hair which is my hair um, I love this. I don't know how some people do it. They get out of the shower and they don't even necessarily need to comb their hair. They can like finger comb it. I get out of the shower and I have dreadlocks. I don't know what I do. I only condition from my ears down. So this should be totally silky. It shouldn't be tangled, but it is a hot mess. I literally have dreadlocks. Um, so I'm all about the leave-in conditioner, the Moroccan oil, all that kind of stuff. I went, you know, I go back into the archives every week. So I went back into the archives. I got some of the benefit, I got some of my benefit um, creamed, creaseless cream shadows out and I, I've been using Sippin' and Dippin' and Somebody Loves Me. So this is a really cute like goldy coral like color. That's Somebody Loves Me and then, or that's Sippin' and Dippin' and Somebody Loves Me is sort of like a, pe a pink gold, if you can, if that'll focus. So these were once like my favorites and I used, they were like go-tos every day and somehow they've sort of gotten cycled out. So I cycled them back in and I've been loving it. This, I've been creating some fun eyes with these this week. So that's, that's a really great product too if you're ever looking for a good like um, cream, cream to powder. And they're darker, you can use them as a liner too. I use, um, they have one called Skinny Jeans that I use as a liner all the time. It's like a dark gray, it's really pretty. So that was from the archives. Um, something else I've been loving is the MAC 150 um, Big Fluff Brush. Yeah, I think it's 150. Um, I've been using this a lot this week because I've been trying to warm up my face with Bobbi Brown Aruba. This is the illuminating you know, bronzer. I've talked about this before, obviously. I use it a ton. I'm like way into pan, right? This is a great product. It kind of is like a really cool shimmery like kind of gold, but I've just been like trying to warm up my face just a little bit. And I'm just using this, like after I've contoured, after I've put my blush on, but just using this to kind of hit where the sun would kiss my face. Um, trying to disguise a little bit of my pale skin, but whatever, I don't mind being pale. Anyway, these, I've both been loving, these have been on my favorites this week. You've heard me talk about these before. I think I've done a video where I was wearing Brazen Berry before. Is that what it's called, the purple one from the Vivids? I don't know, I can't remember, but anyway. The uh, Maybelline Vivids, these are two of their new colors. I literally, this has been my go-to look a lip for the last week. Shocking Coral. Obsessed. This is a really great dupe for MAC Party Parrot too. So Party Parrot I think was came out last year maybe. Uh, limited edition. It's not part of the collection so if you missed out on Party Parrot for like five five and a half dollars you can get Shocking Coral. And, and I've seen these coming back in the stores. For a while the stores were out of these but now I've been seeing these around. Uh, so that's a great color and I love it. I literally, people ask me about it all the time. And then the other one I've been loving is Coral Crush. Same thing, part of the Vivids. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. So, Shocking Coral and Coral Crush. Uh, Shocking Coral is more pink and Coral Crush has more of like an orangey, like coral, like orange tone to it. So anyway, 
So both of these are on the glitter report. I'm pretty sure you're gonna be hearing about these all summer long because I literally just cannot get enough of them. So if you can snatch these up, I highly recommend it. And I think they wear really well. They last throughout the day. Um, and they have a really, they're not a drying finish, so I like that. Some of the MAC ones, I just feel like I put it on and it's like sucks the moisture out of my whole body. Um, something else that I'm really loving uh, this week that's on the glitter report is the Daily Makeup Bl Brush Cleaner by Sephora for spot cleaning my brushes. Um, this is a great one. I try to shampoo my brushes once a week. I used to shampoo my brushes like twice a week, but it's really labor intensive. And I don't think it's that great for them because they're, sh you know, some of them are starting to shed. So I'm trying to be better about spot cleaning. So this is a great spot cleaner. I think it's like $14. Um, if you're a beauty insider with Sephora, they've been having that like 15% off. So that's kind of cool but good brush cleaner. I know probably a lot of you are all into the MAC one. I've used the MAC one for years. I'm not, I'm not hating on it. I love it, but just excited to try this one too. Okay, rounding out this week's glitter reports are my new sunglasses. Just wanted to show these off. These are from The Gap, $25. I love them. I have a pair of Ray-Ban aviators that I wear all the time. I've had them for a couple of years. I am meticulous with them. I obsess over them. I wear them all the time. But I just found these. I was out with my friend Johnny and we, we both fell in love with these. He got a pair, I got a pair. And loving them. So that's on today's glitter report. And last but not least, this is not a beauty product, but this is um, my favorite candle ever. This is the Volcano Candle. This is the Volcano Candle from Anthropology. Oh, I just die, it smells so good. This is a total splurge for me. These are candles are $28, but I just love it so much. I've been wanting one forever, and so I did it. I got it, I guess, happy birthday to me, right? So that's it for this week's Glitter Report. Don't forget, speaking of my birthday, don't forget that my birthday giveaway is open still until Sunday night at midnight. So it's not too late for you to watch that video, subscribe, do all that kind of stuff um, to enter that giveaway. It's a really awesome giveaway. It's got like four or five, I can't remember, four or five really cool things and you don't wanna miss that. So anyway, thank you for watching. Thanks for all your birthday wishes. That has been so awesome. I feel like I've been celebrated all week long because that video went up on Sunday and I feel like this has been such a great birthday week, which I appreciate you guys for that. And I hope you guys have an awesome weekend. I know I'm going to have a great weekend with my brother, my sister-in-law, and my nephews being like super anti all weekend. So anyway, thanks so much and have an awesome weekend.